Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, today's topic is about a special probiotic that helps increase testosterone levels and testicular size. Now, a little while ago, I did make a video about a special drink that can cause your testicles to grow and also increase your testosterone levels. And I'll give you the direct link to that video in a little bit. Needless to say, that video became very popular with over a couple million views and led to many questions. And this, today's video, is a follow-up to that original video. As always, please leave your questions and comments below this video so I can give you the best information that you want and need in future videos. And of course, subscribe if you aren't have already. So to get started, basically there is a special probiotic strain, it's a good bacteria, called l ruteri or l ruteri or I'm not even sure how you pronounce it these days, but it's been shown to potentially help increase testosterone levels, testicular size, and also produce more sperm. Now it's found primarily in mother's milk and fermented foods. Now you can also purchase it as a standalone probiotic in a capsule or powder form. So today I'm gonna to reveal the best, the four best foods for maximizing l ruteri probiotic and most importantly, other healthy probiotics that you want in your gut. Plus an even better and faster way for you to help increase your testosterone levels if that's your goal, which you can use in combination with the l ruteri probiotic. So getting back to l ruteri probiotic. First, obviously when it's a little bit too late when it comes to mother's milk, sorry guys. Secondly, taking um, the l ruteri um, in a supplement form or such as a pill or powder is fine, but because it is a probiotic, right, it's a, it's a live bacteria, it's very heat sensitive. Most of the time, it will probably be dead by the time you take it or just not nearly as effective, all right? It needs to be refrigerated and properly sealed and transferred and, you know, and properly the tempered uh, transformations, transportation. So then there's also the dosage. Uh, should you be taking 100 million of it, uh, 2 billion? There's even stuff that's like 65 or 70 billion of just this one probiotic. Of course, most people will think, you know, hey, the more the merrier, right? The higher the dose, the better the results, right? Well, the truth is that probiotics, these healthy bacteria, are basically, you know, they're healthy bacteria, and your body has millions and billions and potentially trillions of them. And trust me, they're never found in isolation in your gut, right? They're all with all these different strains in your stomach. Thus, the best is to consume probiotics in a more natural form along with lots of other naturally occurring and different strains of healthy probiotics. And this is why I'm not a fan of taking any single probiotic by itself. And ultimately, the best way to get your probiotics, all your healthy probiotics, including the l Rotari, is by eating fermented foods. You'll get a much higher dose than taking any pill and lots of different variations of different probiotics and different strains, plus it'll be cheaper at the end. So let me quickly list the top fermented foods and the last one will be one of my favorites, which I consider to be the best one. All right, so let's start. The first one is yogurt. It's the most popular one, yogurt. You've probably heard about all the healthy probiotics. Unfortunately, most yogurt can actually cause some gut problems for many adults. Basically, the type of milk, or more specifically, the cow milk found in the United States that's actually in the yogurt can be inflammatory for most people. The dairy can also cause gastrointestinal problems such as diarrhea or constipation, and for most adults, it can cause gas and flatulence, all right? Not cool. But actually, Greek yogurt is better than regular yogurt. And yogurt made from cow, from goat's milk instead of cow's milk, yogurt made from goat's milk is even better. Um, most can tolerate uh, Greek yogurt and goat's milk yogurt without getting as gassy or not gassy at all. As much as I personally like the taste of yogurt, unfortunately, it can cause gas and bloating for me because I don't do well with yogurt, with dairy. Uh, maybe you do. If you do, enjoy the yogurt. Now, the next food is called kefir, which I went to into detail in that original video that I made before this one. And kefir is a fermented milk drink that is made by adding kefir grains to the milk. And kefir grains are not actually grains, but rather a combination of bacteria and yeast that help form a symbiotic culture, basically. Now, these grains are added to milk, typically cow's milk or even goat's milk, and are left to ferment 
for maybe a period of time, usually about two, maybe three days, or you know, 24 to 48 hours. Again, I'm not a big fan of dairy, as I stated earlier, nor do I like yeast, and there's yeast in here because yeast can actually cause or increase candida in some people. Plus, kefir can get expensive. However, you may wanna give it a try. You know, some really like the taste of kefir. Um, so if you do like it, again, give it a try, enjoy. You know, the more, the more different uh, fermented foods you eat, the better. Now, another one is uh, kimchi, uh, is a traditional uh, Korean fermented side dish made from vegetables, most commonly from cabbage and just a variety of different seasonings. It's, you know, as a side dish. The fermentation process of, of kimchi helps promote the growth of beneficial bacteria, similar to other fermentation type foods, fermented foods. Now, kimchi is a bit harder to find than other fermented foods. Uh, but again, if you can find it and like the taste, enjoy it. Like I said, the more variety of fermented foods you have, the better. And then finally, we have what I think is one of the best ones and one of my, at least one of my personal favorites, and that's sauerkraut. And sauerkraut is from uh, made from fermented cabbage. It's made by finely shredding cabbage and fermenting it, it with uh, lactic acid bacteria. Now, what I like most about it is that it's not dairy. Again, like I said, I already, you already know why. Now, you can also get it in any grocery store. It's abundant. That's another thing I like about sauerkraut. Plus, you can even make it at home. So that's the other third benefit. Um, it also tends to have higher probiotic count than all the other foods that I mentioned today. So again, another bonus. So if you like the taste of sauerkraut, again, in my opinion, it's probably the best option. Now, one thing to know is that not all sauerkraut is properly made and thus um, has all those healthy bacteria and probiotics that I mentioned. Unfortunately, the label won't tell you either. So one thing to know is when you go buy sauerkraut, make sure it's refrigerated. If it's not, most likely it will lack that healthy bacteria, it won't be alive, all right? So make sure that, you know, if you're going to buy it and then you're gonna order, it's gonna be shipped to you, chances are it's gonna die, you know, the, the healthy probiotics and transi uh, transition. Also, make sure that you drink that liquid brine that, that, you know, all that cabbage is in and not just eat the sauerkraut, you know, cabbage part. That liquid brine actually has the most amount of healthy probiotic bacteria. So there you have it, the top best fermented foods to maximize your probiotics, including the El Rotaria. Um, now, there is no guarantee that your testicles will actually grow and your testosterone will increase by eating these fermented foods or any specific probiotic. Now, will it? I don't really think so. But honestly, these foods have so many health benefits that I highly suggest you try to eat at least one of them, two or three times a week, and preferably a variation of two or three, maybe all four of them at different times of the week and different times of the month for just um, healthy gut health and probiotics and just better all around health. Lastly, if you do want to increase a, your testosterone levels, a faster and easier way of doing so, um, make sure you visit the link below this video, a solution that I've been using myself for well over 20 years. I guarantee that will definitely increase your testosterone levels and your libido. So give it a try and visit the link below. As always, leave your comments. Let me know what you have questions, what you thought about today's video, what else I can do to help you achieve your health, fitness, and longevity goals. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I wish you a very happy and healthy day.